I'm just thinking. Man says I'll do all I can, but like with his end goal, like when you know his end goal, it's like he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> he doesn't care. This timeline doesn't matter to him. To oh well, I guess it is what it is. You're the one who can never go back. You're the one who killed Chairman Sumeragi. Yeah, yeah, I'm the culprit. And Sheedan is an egghead from Ceyron. What's that supposed to mean? Is there something wrong with being smart? Easy there. So, Arashi, you're just coming along to keep an eye on Major General Karin, right? You're worried he'll be a problem for Major General Fubuki. I'm not that attached to my brother. Sure, whatever you say. So, why are you going to Seiron, Major Kyoka? Don't tell me you're one of Karin's fans. Hmm? Would it be strange if I was a fan of Major General Karin? Wow, you strike me as more of a Major General Fubuki fan. Oh, stop, Kagoro. Do you think I'm the kind of person who would change her mind based on whether or not a person was her type? Hopefully. When you're in OSF command like me, you see the suspicious things the government does, even if you don't want to. But researching human metamorphosis? I can't let that go. Yeah, that's the rub. It's why half the OSF joined up with him. I'm sure none of them trust the government, and Major General's popularity certainly helps. Yes. Anyways, the OSF will be reformed one way or another. Once we get to Ceyron, we may be reassigned as well. Oh, right. So what's going to happen to this hideout? This unit belongs to the Randall family, right? We should be able to continue using it. The Randall family has lots of units they don't use. I never told them we were using this in the first place. Oh, so we've been using it without permission? Well, we'll keep using it if we can. It's nice to have a place to rest. Once I get to Seiron, I can see my sister. Wait for me, Naomi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the DT, which is questionable. Two bun no no fuck it. <laughs> my eye. Two oh, bond episodes Sonic. and then we get the gifts. Coming all the way to see me? Do you have a crush on me or something? No, I just came to check on you. Looks like you're fine. Goodbye. Whoa, I see you still keep things cool. I mean, you're already here. Why don't we go on a date? No, Why? <laughs> Good. Wait, hold on. What else do you want? Sorry, sorry. I, I shouldn't have used the D word. How about we take this opportunity to deepen our friendship? I somehow doubt your motives. You've been on edge lately. After everything that happened with Naomi, I'm just concerned for you as the team's resident senior. Why don't we let off a little steam? A change of pace over some tea with your trusty mentor. He may have an ulterior motive. That being said, it might actually be good to talk with him. We're allies after all. So I think it's best that I should, at the very least, try to understand what kind of person he is. Okay, we can talk a little. Oh, so you're finally on board. Great, now let's go out on the town. Am I making a mistake? Probably. So what do we need to talk about? Let's see. I guess uh, an update on how we've been. Although we pretty much already know what we've both been up to. 
Today's goal is to get you to blow off a little steam, so let's just talk about whatever you want to talk about. But I don't feel like I need to blow off steam. Really? Then maybe I'll just ask some questions. Weren't you and Naomi really close? We're sisters. Of course we were. But you seem to be even closer than real sisters. Was there something that happened that helped you become so close? Well, Naomi was always there protecting me because I didn't really have a place in the Randall household. My parents didn't think very fondly of me, and she was the only one who actually treated me with kindness. Oh, I get it. So, you feel like you owe her for helping you through your childhood. <laughs> Sounds like a great sister to me. Yes, I suppose you could say that I owe her my life. I wanted to ask him about himself. We've been talking about me the whole time. You must really love Naomi. What? Yes. She's the most important person in the world to me. So, let me ask you this. If you could turn back time to when Naomi was well, do you think you'd want to? Turn back time? Then you could go back to the way things were, like nothing even happened. Of course I want to be together with my sister again. But... I can't. Why? Because taking away my sister's suffering like it never happened would be denying her entire life. I see. Why did you ask me that? It's just... I've lived a life full of regret, so I'm always thinking about how to face the past. Although, you do have a good point. I guess you just need to accept what's happened. That's enough about me. I'd like to hear about your past mistakes. Whoa, that's not really something I can just share with you or anyone so easily. Gotta maintain some air of mystery about me. Oh, really? Then I won't push you. I mean, we don't want to close the distance between us too quickly. Let's take this slow. Okay. We ended up barely even talking about him. I did notice he dropped that cheerful facade he always has on for a moment. I think he might be hiding something deeper behind that usual carefree attitude of his. Although I could be reading into it too much. gonna be annoying again but it's fine <laughs> it's fine you just be annoying and i just pretend to be entertained by you shiden what are you doing kasane I i'm not doing anything if you're trying to hide it why don't you go somewhere people can't see it's hard to ignore what you're doing to that doll what how long have you been watching a while what's the point of this I don't need to be bossed around by you. This is just small talk. We're teammates. Don't teammates talk like this? Small talk? Okay, fine. This is called Baki. I know that. Naomi liked it too. My parents pushed it on me because it's popular. It's completely not my taste. Then why do you have it? It's your fault. Huh? Because I lost you one on one, my parents are trying to cheer me up. You told your family you lost? Of course not. When I didn't reply for a while, they probably figured out what happened. They've been messaging me non stop ever since. They even sent me this doll. They probably think I like it. But that's just added pressure. That's why I don't want to reply. And just looking at the message notifications ticks me. 
So you were taking it out on the doll? Yeah. You got a problem with that? I think that's better than taking it out on the people around you. Oh. So you weren't making fun of me? Ugh. What was that sound? How are you doing? We haven't heard from you, so we've been worried. Your mother and father are always on your side. Your mother knows just how strong you are, little Shiden. Do your little best and okay. don't lose. I can't wait to hear from you. See you soon. Did you see that? I'm sorry, but I did. She's a good mom. <laughs> These are the types of messages she keeps sending me. I'm a grown man now, but she keeps treating me like a kid. You actually messaged through the terminal? They pushed it on me. I mean, we can directly receive transmissions through the brain, but they want to go through all this trouble. I don't understand why you're so resistant. You don't like being encouraged by your family? I'm grateful, but sometimes it doesn't matter how hard you try. There's some things you just can't accomplish no matter how much they expect you to. So when they keep telling me to do my best, it feels like they're blaming my inadequacy. You're so immature. What did you say? Ever since I was adopted into the Randall family, I've never received a single word of encouragement from my parents. I don't mean to compare our lives, and I can't say who's better off. But from where I stand, you're loved and truly blessed. I would even say I'm jealous. I'm sorry for saying all those things without thinking about your situation. Still, my family's encouragement stresses me out. My parents will praise me no matter how spectacularly I fail. That's no way to measure my abilities. I need to be acknowledged by an objective third party if I'm going to improve. You're not satisfied being loved by your family? I don't understand why you work so hard just to be acknowledged. Of course you don't. You're the one who won. So I'm just inferior. I trained so hard for years. And it resulted in a pathetic loss to a rookie. I know you must to be, be fair, you are a bitch though. My back. I'm not. I just don't understand why you need the approval of others. If you explain it to me, I'll try my best to understand. You want to understand? That's what I'm telling you. Huh. I'm busy. I'm not obligated to explain anything to you. He has a lot on his mind. I'll need to talk to him more if I'm going to understand him. I had no idea communicating with people was so hard. You're a fucking robot. <laughs> You're a fucking robot. Let's get one thing straight. You're not the one leading this platoon. Uh -huh. If anything, I'm letting you lead us. Don't forget that. Uh -huh. So it sounds like I am the one leading the platoon. She got. I'm just she saying, don't be smug. <laughs> She's spitting. Don't let it go to your head. She's spitting. She got you there, bitch. Shut up. <laughs> I feel like I've learned a little more about you. However annoying that may be. I don't know what you mean by annoying, but it's good that we understand each other better. I assume this is my one. Keyword being assume. Crystal balls, like, yeah, I, I fully believe that she's into this shit because of how her life is <laughs> and how she was created. Oh, this is wonderful. Also, does she need the anti aging drugs or, like, because she's a, what, what's it called? Designer baby or whatever they call it. 
Like, is she just, like, genetically engineered to just, like, not age past this point? Was that middle game called Fighting Fighters? <laughs> Was that a game called Fighting Fighters? Alright. <laughs> sure, okay. Yeah, Cheers. fighting fighters. <laughs> that's 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 the name of the game, all right. Okay. Well, play me some fighting fighters. There are a lot of things different about you, Kasane. I could say you're an unlikely woman. Naomi always said I was easily misunderstood. Yeah, I get that. You just say whatever is on your mind. I generally find staying quiet makes more friends, though. Oh well. That lack of control is one of your good features. Is it? Is it though? Mission break photo. Hey, do you see how great I am now? I don't know about great, but I do think I've come to understand you a little better. Mission break photo. Oh, okay. I think that's all the gifts I got. Give me that, 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 and give me that. Okay, cool. Right, now Hanabi, I know I know you watched me just try to kill your boyfriend, but how about we chill out, have some burgers? <laughs> we chill out, you know, like girls do. It'd be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, Kasane, how are you? I'm fine. You look all right too. I'm sorry. I'm actually not alright. I can't just pretend like nothing happened. I hope we can talk about what's going on. I can't stand being your enemy. I think it's unfortunate too. I don't want to fight you. We finally became friends. So why do we have to fight? As long as you're with Yuito, I'll fight you. There is something I have to do. That's crazy. If you don't want to fight, why don't you come with me? What? What are you saying? I have to achieve my goal no matter what. So I need fighters. I need you, Hanabi. Are you telling me to make Yuito my enemy? I could never do that. If it's hard for sentimental reasons, then you can just give me information. Like where he is or where he's going. Hey, don't insult me. I would never betray him. 
guess negotiations have broken down. Why are you so angry, though? She's generally a fucking robot. Of course I'm angry. Yuito and I grew up together, and he's my friend. He never gives up on his ideals, no matter how hard things are. I know he's worried, and I know it must be hard for him to have to fight you. That's why I have to stand by his side. But you want me to betray him. All you talk about is Yuito. Why do you care about him so much? Love, you, you fucking robot. It. I think we should decide who and why we fight for ourselves. Not because of someone else's feelings. <sighs> Maybe you let other people... We should figure out... Yeah, we should decide... Ma Madam. Madam. The entire reason you're doing this is based off of someone else's feelings. The entire reason why you pretended like you killed Yurito's father and are trying to kill Yurito is because some random fuck, <laughs> some random fuck in the future says, yeah, I think this is what was supposed to happen. So you got to do it. And then he killed himself before you could debate with him. <laughs> Madam. Your entire purpose is based of your emotional reaction to your sister. Your obsessive emotional reaction to your sister. What the fuck do you get off saying this? What the actual fuck do you get off saying this? And I see right here, you're saying that, sh that Hanabi is emotionally immature. Bitch. B oh. <laughs> okay. Will inform your opinions because you're emotionally immature. What? How can you say that? I've had enough. Going home. Hanabi? Maybe I said too much. I failed. I don't get it, though. I wanted to know what she thought, but all she talked about was Yuito. You bro She's intense when she talks about him. She looked just like Naomi. Wait, Naomi had a thing for Yuito. Does this mean Hanabi likes him, too? If that's true, then I really did mess up. There's actual subhuman bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? What the actual fuck is wrong with this character? She can't function like a fucking person. She can't function like a fucking person, it's insane. Genuinely insane. Thank you for coming today. There's no need for pleasantries. What do you need from me? So, what things about Kara did you want to ask me? I wanted to ask you how you see my brother. Why me? There are a lot of other people who have met him. You might not like hearing this, but I think the two of you are a bit similar. Similar? You're not talking about our appearance. No, not that. So what do you think of my brother? Well, I'm not really that close to him, and it's not like we've talked a lot. I'd like to hear what you have to say about him first. I'm interested in learning what kind of person Karin is. Alright. Well, he seems like a very straightforward person to me. Straightforward? I've never felt that way about him. I'm sure there would be a lot of people who would agree with you. Also, I don't necessarily mean it in a good way. He's overly candid. Pushing forward without considering anybody else. That's the kind of person he is. I kind of understand what you're saying. Okay, let me share my impression of him. I recognize Karin's skills, but I think he's condescending, oppressive, and does whatever he wants. Personally, I'm fine that he acts that way, but I don't understand how someone like that can still be popular. <laughs> That's a harsh way to put it. I knew you were like him. How so? You're both candid, and you also don't compromise with the path you choose to take. 
I would never cause an uprising or incite others to get involved. Maybe not, but people come to you nonetheless. I think that those with a strong will naturally draw other people to them. That can make people like me, who tend to hide in the shadows, a little jealous. I'm not sure about that. I don't feel like I draw other people to me like Karin does. I think these straightforward people you talk about often create more discord than not. I'm constantly butting heads with people. I feel like it'd be easier if I were more well-mannered like you. It's not easier. We all have problems. That might be true, but you always seem so calm and collected. It's almost hard to believe you're his younger brother. You seem like someone who has everything figured out. Do I? Anyway, let's call it a day. I'm glad I could talk to you. Is that all you wanted to talk about? I don't feel like I said much. No, this has been a very worthwhile conversation for me. Thank you. I have no idea how the hell Hanabi and Kasane are going to continue their wrestling. One's a fucking robot who doesn't understand how living beings work. And the other is being asked to betray her boyfriend. <laughs> how the fuck? I mean, I say that. Fucking Yuito and Kago had an S-Link somehow, despite the fact that murdered his father. <laughs> Alright, this, this game is silly. <laughs> this game is silly. I think I'm tired. I should rest. That should be enough rest. First, I want to know where my sister is. I wonder if Karin is in Seiron. So Naomi is in Other, and in Seiron. I think I got the gist of everything that's been going on based on what Major General Karin said. I'm not doubting it, but people actually changing into Others? None of you saw it happen, so I'm sure it's hard to believe. But it's the truth. My sister was turned into another. I will help my sister. That's why I'm with Seiron. Are you feeling all right, Kasane? The brain field was a big strain on you. It was horrible, but I'm fine. There weren't really any after effects. I was very emotional. I think that's why I wasn't able to use it very well. That's what happens when you go off by yourself. You're lucky we got to you. It's a skill used in the OSF. But getting yourself all whacked every time you use it is probably not good. It's all about how you use it. It's a double-edged sword that can cost you your life. That's what strength is. Yes, that's true. Just don't use it too much, okay, Kasane? Yes, I'll be careful. Hey guys, got a minute? Oh, Haruka. Since you're sending messages, does that mean you're in Seiron? Yes. I wasn't invited by Major General Karin, but I felt like I could do something in Seiron. So, I put in a request to be your platoon operator. Our platoon? We've been reorganized? Yeah, that's why I contacted you. Seiron has created the Seiron OSF with Major General Karin in charge. I guess it's about half the size of the old OSF. So half really did come to Seiron. I'm guessing things are going to get pretty rough now in Suo. Kasane, Kyoka, Arashi, Shiden, Kagero, you five were placed into first platoon. The commander is Kasane. Good luck! Ugh. Looks like first platoon already has a mission. First, you need to go see Major General Karin and get your orders directly. The location is Seiron OSF Headquarters. That's our HQ from now on. I guess we're already pawns in their game. Oh well, here we go. It feels like a platoon full of troublemakers. Maybe Garin thought we'd be easier to handle this way. I'm glad we're all together. 
We can still use the hideout as well. Good thing Karin summoned us. Let's go to Seiron OSF HQ right away. <laughs> 